Guys, before we get into this video, if you can, click the link down below to my Twitch and make sure you go and follow me on Twitch, please. Because uh, sooner or later, I'm going to be on Twitch I'm pretty much every single night. It's going to be like an everyday, everyday bro, Jake Paul. I said it's every day, bro! I'm just being serious. Like, we're going to be on Twitch every night. We could talk sneakers. We could play games. We could play games and talk sneakers. We could do whatever. Call of Duty is coming up this Friday. I want you guys to pull up. I want you guys to be there with me every single fucking day. When I move to my new spot, I want it to be like almost an every day, every other day thing, bro. So please go follow me on Twitch, okay? Just that's it. If you, I don't need you to do anything else. If I ever ask you for anything else, you can ignore it. Just follow me on Twitch, okay? Let's get this Twitch thing up. I'm gonna have to do a giveaway. Maybe Call of Duty giveaway, right? Fuck it. Let's get it. I'll tell you about that soon. Let's get to the video, though. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again, man. Back at it like a motherfucking crack addict today with a very special video, man. We were back at it with the weekly sneaker rotation, masturbations, temptations. Got bitches waiting, waiting for Satan. Nigga, I ain't debating. She's sucking on my dick while I'm gonna have her other friend waiting. It's been a minute, man. It's been a minute since we did the weekly sneaker rotation, and I thought, man, I sat back and I looked. It was March, March of this year. It's been almost, I don't even know, January, February, March was three, seven months. Seven months without a weekly sneaker rotation. You guys have been asking for it, a couple of you guys at least. And I said, you know what, let me just give them one. Let's just, let's just throw it out there and just see what comes back in return. Now, I know, I'm not, I'm not promising that we're back at it like a motherfucking tic tac crack at it with this motherfucking weekly sneaker rotation, but. I mean, we could give you one just here and there to see, you know what I'm saying? Just to see. So guys, if you can, if you haven't already, make sure you click the bell, hit the subscribe button, and, and like and comment if you like the video. And without further ado, man, let's get straight into the bit. Let's get it. For Sunday, I had to pull out the Jordan 1 wings. Now this is a huge custom, man. Shout out to British Customs. He customized these with the SMPL logo on it. This was what I got when I went out to Arizona with Rejuvenator and did my first ever pop-up in Arizona. Huge shout out to British Customs once again, man, for this one. I wear this motherfucker like it's my foot, you know what I'm saying? He did a great job on it. Uh, this was all like just straight airbrush and he killed it. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't see airbrush as much when it goes into shirts, into sneakers as it used to be, but he just killed it and it doesn't even look like airbrush to me. It looks like straight painted and this guy, man, check him out. If I can remember, because I usually suck at it, I will make sure to link down his Instagram down below in the con in the description. You can check him out. But British Custom, man, huge shout out to you once again. Thank you, brother. This is my kicks for Sunday. For Monday, this has been one of the most worn sneakers for this year. I mean, this is the Yeezy 350 V2 bread. I love these sneakers. You wear them, you can wear the hell out of them, you can destroy them. They're just indestructible because they're black. And this is that's just how it is. Black people, we're just indestructible, man. But I mean, this shoe, man, overall, I like it. Is this a good, nice black sneaker with a little bit of red? So you can pretty much wear it with anything, black and white, black and blue. I really don't care that red doesn't throw it off too much for me. But either way, if you're really down to the colors, it's not hard to wear black and red. It's just not. But pretty much, you don't have to worry about it ever getting dirty. It, it wears right, it feels good, it's a Yeezy, it has a lot of nice looks to it. So you can't really go wrong when it comes to this sneaker. And this is probably a sneaker I wear at least once a week. I mean, at least once a week, it's in my collection. But yeah, man, Monday, the Yeezy 350 V2 bread. She gave me head. For Tuesday is the Jordan 8 Cool Gray. Man, this is one of my favorite releases of this year. Most underrated Jordan, the 8 model. And then the colorway of the Cool Gray. Gray is the best neutral color out there, bro. And I think somebody's calling me right now on my phone. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Can you give me like 10 minutes? But this is a neutral color that just pops. You can wear it pretty much with anything. And the thing about this, man, if this shoe would have released in 2015, 16, 7, uh, well, 2015, 16, this would have been an instant sellout. But just in the time and day we are right now with Jordan Brand and where it's headed, or well, not where it's headed, where it's at, because I believe where it's headed, it will it will, it will make up for it next year. But it just, it sits, you know? But actually, when I went to Nike Lennox, I, I didn't see these anymore. So maybe these, I, they're not, I don't, know they're, I don't know if they're still sitting on Nike. I, I don't know. This is a model that's kind of, I think it did sell out over time. It could be in outlets. If you found it in an outlet, Feel free to comment that down below. But the Jordan 8, cool gray, that's for Tuesday. For Wednesday, guys, we pulled out the Jordan 1 Royal, another classic model that you have to have in your collection. This is a sneakerhead, you know, 101 collection piece. You need one of these in the collection to be a sneaker. I don't mean to throw that much pressure on you, man. But I'm just saying, like, this is it. This is where it started at, man. This, this, this is it. I wear the hell out of these almost every single time I get the chance. They're indestructible. 
the black and the blue. It's a royal, and it's probably it's such the thing about this sneaker that makes it great is that it's not in black. It's not. It's a Jordan. It's not black and red, and it has such of a strong want for you know the royal. I love this colorway, man. I love this sneaker, and it's just an automatic cop, automatic wear. You know what I'm saying? Wednesday. Now for Thursday, guys, you know I had to pull these out if I'm pulling out the Royals. I mean, these, the Royals and the breads, they stay like on this shelf. You see, I got sneakers here. There, there's the breads up there. They're up there. I don't know if you can see it, but they just stay up there. Like they're one of the sneakers that my go-to guys. They, they sit there, they go, you grab and go, and then their mama's a hoe. My bad though, I didn't mean that for show, but you know. Anyways, I mean, it, it's a sneaker you can grab, get the fuck on with your day and keep it moving, not have to worry too much about your shit getting destroyed. It's just a, key, a, a grab and go, man, grab and go, just like in basketball. You just grab it and go, and it's, I mean, it's a bread, bro. It's nothing to speak about it. It's another one of the sneakers, though, that you need in your collection if you're a sneakerhead. There's nothing else to it, you know what I'm saying? You have to get this, you need it. If you don't have it, get, get on it, you know what I'm saying? The flyness wasn't a bad option either, because it was an easier cop. People hate on them, I, I, don't, I don't dislike them. I have a pair myself, I might rock those today, matter of fact. But uh, yeah, Jordan 1. Bread. Coming in for Thursday, guys, we pulled out the Jordan 6 flight suit, um, the flight jacket, I mean, flight suit, flight jacket. I like to call them the Jordan 6 satins, bro. They did the Jordan 1 satin in the uh, Royal and Bray, whatever, they sold out like crazy. And then these, they, they did sell out a good amount as well, but that just shows you how much hype is taking over sneakers, bro, because this is a satin, the same type of material as it's Jordan 1. But yeah, these were a little bit more, you know, accessible. Maybe the price point made it, you know, I say accessible, more available. Maybe the price point kind of killed it for a lot of people, but I feel like these weren't as strong as a hyped release. When people saw them at first, everybody was like, oh my God. But then I think once they heard the price point, they kind of fell back. I got these out in Toronto. They were sitting 300 Canadian dollars, which is a lot. Sheesh, but it is what it is. I'm cool with it, you know what I'm saying? I copped it, I didn't complain, and I kept it moving because I'm insane, man. And uh, yeah, Jordan 6 satin, Thursday. For Friday, guys, we pulled out the Kif and Nike collab of the Air Maestro 2. I'm still thinking if I need to do a review or not. A lot of you guys said it, so I might just start throwing out some reviews next week, just here and there, just throwing them like a double uploads with a review on top. Just like a little cherry on top for you guys, just cause I noticed that a lot of sneakers over the past couple months, I pick and choose my reviews now because they just usually don't get that many views, but maybe I need to relax. Like, I know if, like, for instance, I needed to review this. I need to review the LeBron 15s. Um, there's the, the, the Supreme Air Force 2s, the uh, the, the uh, Air Max Skeptors. I need to just throw those out there, I feel like, because their shoes people would probably want to see down the road. So expect this some double uploads throughout the week of this sneakers that I picked up, I didn't do a review on. I got to get back to the reviews. I mean, I know, like I said, I know the main concept here is we're going to do different shit and that's what's going to stay with it. But I'm saying like do different shit, drop that video, but then throw this as like a little bonus of a review on a sneaker. I think that's the way to go and I think I need to do more. So expect more reviews on sneakers coming up, guys, because I know a lot of you guys might not even know this release and then when I give you the, you know, the, 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 the info, you're gonna be like, oh shit, let me check these out and you might cop them and then I serve my purpose, you know what I'm saying? That's just what I'm saying, I'm blabbing off, but uh, yeah, Friday. And last but not least for Thursday, the Jordan 13 Brave Blue, man, this is a definitely a, a crazy sneaker release this year because when it dropped, it actually sold out online and we haven't seen, I haven't seen them in outlets. Um, I don't, I haven't seen a restock or whatever, but these actually sold out like online. I had to go to Linux and copy because I was unable to cop them online. I woke up, wanted to cop them, they were gone. We don't know if Nike pulled stock just to make it seem that way. I really don't know what in the hell Nike was doing, but I do know one thing, they were sold out. So that's something weird. I'm looking forward to seeing if Nike does like a restock in the future. And if they do do a restock and these pop up, we know what they did. However, it's been a long time since he's released and we haven't had word yet, so I don't know. But this is for Saturday. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like, you comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. These are the video, like, I, I, everything here is a feedback method. The comment section, I'm not gonna lie, in the past couple months has been AIDS. It's been a lot of love in here, but the, the hate is starting to balance it out to where it's hard for me to find feedback on things. Everything I do is based upon what you guys are giving me in feedback on comments, likes, and views. If a video I drop this video and it gets a lot of views or more than above than average or even average, I'm gonna drop another sneaker rotation. But when I drop a video like a sneaker rotation and it gets low than the average amount, then that just shows me. So if I drop this video and it's getting 17,000 views or 20, it's kind of like, hmm, because even like back in March, these were getting like at least 25,000 views over time. 
15 to 25. That was later, like that was earlier this year, but now like my channel's kind of gotten a little bit better, blowing up a little bit more, more views and stuff. So if it's reaching 30 or 40, then I can I can mess with it. I can mess with it. But if it's still hitting 25, that means there's not really up a market. There's not that many of you guys who want to see that. So it is it's all about what we get back in return, what I put out there and we see. I want to give you guys whatever like the best way to see it and view it and then like and con like, like and dislike ratio that's all the, what i see and put out there so we'll see how it goes i know i didn't have that many on feet or just close up on the sneakers i wanted to just drop this out there see you guys see if you miss it see what you guys thought about it and we'll go from there i'm gonna get more reviews out on the sneakers as well and uh yeah man thank you guys for all the love and support make sure you leave a like you comment down below and subscribe and then um i said let's get straight into it <laughs> let's get straight out of it man i'm checking in i'm checking out peace Turn it to it.